Hello and welcome to Only Connect. And if you'd like to come along and be in the live audience for the show, then please drop us a line via the website. I mean, it'll be slightly weird because we don't have a live audience for the show. There isn't a great crowd of people here not laughing at the things I say, apart from the crew. But you can stand with them, the cameramen. They won't mind, they haven't got much to do. They're just standing around, standing, standing. We're not making Lord of the Rings. Although sometimes it looks like it. Let's meet the teams. On my right, Ian King, a French and Russian graduate who's listed in the Guinness Book of Records along with 2,275 colleagues for standing on one leg. Tim Harrison, a communications consultant who used to be a heavyweight boxer. And their captain, Tim Hall, a former accountant who successfully predicted a woman's pregnancy using tarot cards. All fans of Inspector Morse, they are the detectives. Now, you lost your last game against the Escapologists. How competitive are you feeling about tonight's match? We're going to be absolutely massively competitive, as long as that's all right with everyone else. Terrifying. <laughs> the opponents you're scaring tonight are on my left. Rob Cromarty, a former archaeologist who enjoys writing Latin poetry. Aidan Sproke Clements, a head of mathematics who designed his own wedding stationery using fractals. And their captain, Dan Sproke Clements, a housemaster who recently enjoyed a wine tasting trip to Shambly and ended up attending a wedding reception with the vineyard's owner. All working at Wellington College, they are the beaks. You lost your last game against the Belga Files. Has that rattled the confidence? How's the team? There wasn't much confidence to begin with, so uh, yes, whatever there was there has now safely run away and hidden in the corner. Well, we tossed a coin to see who'd be going first in this match. Detective, you won. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Can we have water, please? Water. Good luck, both teams. Someone has to go home tonight. I hope it's neither of you, but I'm hoping in vain. <laughs> what is the connection between these apparently random clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh. Right, that is the effect whereby stupid people don't realise they're stupid. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> okay. It's possible the first one is very similar, but should we go for another one? Yeah, yeah. Next, please. That's where you're compromised to your level of incompetence. Yeah. So they're all maxing some sort of. Yeah, they're all psychological. Yeah, they're all sort of psychological effects, but psychological observations of how people behave. But to do with intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all psychological observations about the way people act to do with the, and to do with their intelligence. So the Peter Principle, people are promoted to the level of their incompetence. The Dunning-Kruger effect is when stupid people don't realise that they're stupid. I'm minded to accept it. That's very good for you. I really want to hear incompetence rather than intelligence or stupidity, but you're in the right zone and I think you know what these things are. You didn't need to see the last one. Dilbert Principle, what's that? No. Is it something to do with the cartoon, Dilbert? Yeah. And the pointy-haired boss, presumably. I don't know if it's to do with the cartoon. I know what it is. The idea is you promote somebody higher up the chain because the higher up they are, the less damage they can do. <laughs> right. So you keep the incompetent I don't know what people. You're <laughs> <laughs> but at the lower levels where people do the real work, you keep the competent people. And uh, yes, the Peter Principle is uh, people rising to the level of their incompetence. Similar idea, really. Putt's Law, a sort of negative selection. People who understand what they don't manage and manage what they don't understand. The Dunning-Kruger effect, I think, as you said, yes, my notes say a cognitive bias in which low-ability individuals suffer from illusory superiority, assessing their own ability as higher than it really is. We all know one of those. <laughs> I can literally see the cameramen nodding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know what it's inspired by, that study? People called Dunning and Kruger. No, I think there were people that did the study. No, it was a man who robbed two banks and he covered his face in lemon juice. Uh, because he thought it would make it makes invisible ink or something like that. Exactly so. <laughs> because you could make invisible ink, he thought his face wouldn't be picked up by CCTV. So well done, you get two points. Beaks, what would you like? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. These are going to be picture clues. Something connects them. What is it? Time starts now. <laughs> Next, please. Next. Demi something. You also get two points for coming in after three clues. Well done. I'll show you the last clue and tell Demi you what Demi John. <laughs> Demi John is the last one. What are the other pictures? The first is a Demi Tass. That's right. Cup and a Demi Semi Quaver. That's right. The second one, a Demi Loon. Mm. A Demi Semi Quaver, which is a 30 second note. 
Do you know what you call a 512th note? Give him a second. <laughs> a hemi, demi, semi, hemi, demi, semi quaver. <laughs> All demi somethings. Well done. Back to you, detectives, for a choice. Can we have twisted flax, please? Yes, you can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. I think this. No, it's into it. Let's go for it. They all used to be one entity. I'm afraid they did not. So I'm going to show the last clue to the beaks for a possible bonus. No. No, no you don't know. Got it now. What is it? Straits. They are straits. Straits and the countries that they separate. So the Denmark Strait separates Iceland and Greenland, Korea Strait, South Korea and Japan, and so forth. What do you find at the western end of the Denmark Strait? Denmark? <laughs> you find the North Atlantic Circulation Pump. What is the North Atlantic Circulation Pump? Uh, um, An area of rising hot water that keeps the Atlantic spinning the way it should. I mean, in a way, it's the world's highest waterfall, but it's, it's underwater. underwater. Okay. Mm. And the difference in temperature means that... Uh, mm. yeah, that's right, you get temperature differences. Isn't that weird, though? I think it's sort of cheating for a waterfall to be it's underwater. Because how do you get to go and look at it? <laughs> that's what you'd find at the western end of the Denmark Strait. So no points there. Beaks, your turn to pick a hieroglyph. Lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these apparently random clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Somebody's appear with the middle of the two of them, maybe. Next, please. Are the anagrams of... Um, the anagrams of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They are anagrams of uh, your only connect hieroglyphs. They are anagrams of hieroglyphs. Very well done. I'm going to show you the last clue. What are they anagrams oh for? Sorry, sorry. Uh, water, lion, uh, two horn reeds, viper. and horn viper. And That's right. The first one, horn viper. Ed Towers is two reeds. Loin is lion. Et wa water. Shall I tell you some others? Please. All very appropriate. Horned viper. No perv hired. If only, <laughs> if only, is what I'd say to that. You can also make hide porn rev and hen provider. Eye of Horus, house foyer. Twisted flax, fits lewd tax. <laughs> All anagrams of hieroglyphs used on Only Connect. Very well spotted. Detectives, what would you like? Can we have two reads, please? Two reads. OK. I'm afraid it's the music question. You'll be hearing your lovely clues. What connects them? Time starts now. And this old world will never change. Next, please. Next, please. Are they all NFL teams? Very well done. What did we hear? We recognised Benny and the Jets and mm -hmm. when the Saints go marching in. Yep. Having a clue on the others. We also heard Dolphins, Tim Buckley for the Miami Dolphins, and where have all the Cowboys gone? Oh, Paula amazing. Cole. Well spotted. All contain NFL teams in their titles. Back to you, Beaks. For I the suppose Horn Viper. Be the Horn Viper. High Horn Rev. <laughs> it's the Horn Viper question. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, are these, are these are David Williams novels. David Williams. Are you sure? Yeah, go for it. Let's go. David Williams novels. I'm afraid not. Oh, so I'm going to show the next two clues to the detectives for a possible bonus point. Oh, they've all won the uh, prize for children's literature. 
Carnegie, Carnegie is it? No, they may have all won prizes, but not all the same one. Gangster Granny is a David Williams novel. The uh, Butterfly Lion is Michael Moore Pergo. The Selfish Giant, Oscar Wilde. They are children's stories in which the title character dies. Ah. Sorry for the spoiler there. But yes, that is the connection, is that they have tragic endings. Do you know the, the Selfish Giant, the Oscar Wilde story? No, no, no. no, no. It's a, a giant dies under a tree. <laughs> Basically, but is what happens. Feel then. sorry for him because he is selfish. I think he becomes less selfish over oh, the course of the I story, see. then dies anyway. Well, the butterfly cool. lion. This is awful. I'm reading these plots. The title character is befriended as an orphan cub, sold to the sub. Then it dies, and then. A... Right, I'm never reading that. <laughs> I'm never reading that. At the end of round one, the detectives have three points. The beaks have four. <laughs> Round two, the sequence is round. The teams may see a maximum of three clues because I want to know what will come forth in a sequence. Detectives, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? Can we have Eye of Horus, please? Yes, you can. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. <laughs> Next, please. Hydrogen. Is an acceptable answer. I'd have preferred Ian Watkins from Steps. <laughs> but why? It's going from HBOS to HBO to HB to H. That's right. HBOS, HBO, HB. I need something representing H. Being more highbrow than us, you chose hydrogen <laughs> rather than a member of Steps. Back to you, Beaks, for choice. Uh, water, please. Water. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Metatarsals. And why would that be? Head, shoulders, knees and toes. I'll accept it. That's the right puzzle. I think a doctor would tell you that phalanges would be more correct oh, than metatarsals. But you have solved the puzzle. These are, of course... The bones uh, are corresponding to the bits in the song, head, shoulders, knees and toes. So I think your parietal bone is, is that bit around your temples it, and eyes. Yes, the sides and top yeah. of the cranium. And the Can't collarbone be. connects mm. the shoulder blade to the sternum. Knee, kneecaps. Yes, patellae. Do, do you know what that means? Who's the classicist? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, do you know? Um, well, given the ending, I'd suggest it's a diminutive, so it's a small form of something. A little pan. Yeah. Isn't that oh, sweet? The knees, sweet. little pans. Two girls, one on each knee. <laughs> Phalanges, the bones of the toes, metatarsals, bones of the foot, I think, really, but uh, you've, you've solved it correctly. Well done. Back to you, detectives, for a choice. A uh, lion, please. Lion. OK, what will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Right, these are the rookies of the which show in America on the late night talk shows. Is it being replaced by James Cook? Yes. Next, please. Give that the copy opening better. Without a huge amount of confidence, James Corden. Is the right answer. Why do you think that might be? They're the host of a late-night chat show in America, but I can't remember which one. The Late Late Show. That's right, American talk show from 1995 to the present. What is James Corden's middle name? <laughs> it's gone completely from my head. Do you know? Alexander. Kimberly. Oh. <laughs> it's Kimberly. So even though you weren't confident, you were correct, and you may have the points. Well done. Back to you, Beaks, for a choice. Horned Viper, please. OK. What would come forth in this picture sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. No, no, no. 
Then this, 97 was tiny bear. So then, let's call them brown quickly. Um, we got the price. Do, do something. Two seconds. Um, so, um, 2017 and. Um, I'm going to stop you there. I'm afraid that is not the right answer. So I'm going to show the third in a sequence for the detectives for a possible bonus point. Holland. I can't give you long. Um, 2015 and a picture of a Cameron Highlander. Nope. What do you think the sequence so is? Is it leaders of the Conservative Party in the year they left? So it would be 2016 and a Cameron Highlander. It's the year they lost elections. So Heath 74, yeah. Major 97. We want them Hague, the Hague 2001, oh. 2005. Howard, Michael Howard. So we've got Howard the Duck there. Oh. That is the sequence. It is Tory leaders who lost the general election and we're going towards Howard. You both bounded too far into the future. But you may have your own question, detectives. Which is it to be? Can we have two reads, please? Yes, you can. What will come forth in this sequence is the first. Next, please. Thirty-one to forty-two is the right answer, and why is that? We think it's the number of prime numbers within that range. That's exactly right. It's as simple as that. Between thirty-one and forty, there are two prime numbers. One question remains: the twisted flax. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. The music is the one the best picture. Next, please. I think so. Go for it. Go for it. Let's go for it. Chicago. Is the right answer. What is the sequence? These are um, musicals that have won Best Picture at the Oscars. That is exactly right. And why was our question editor disappointed in the spring of 2017? Because La La Land very nearly won and then didn't. Exactly so. Even though Moonlight is unarguably the better film. It's not so interesting when you're trying to make sequences in Only Connect. And had <laughs> La La Land won, as uh, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway tried to, to make happen, <laughs> it would have been so useful for our show. Has there ever been a more embarrassing moment at the Oscars? Gwyneth Paltrow's crying. I don't know. She cried. Jennifer Lawrence fell over. There had been terrible speeches, but declaring the wrong thing, and then the people are taking the thing, and then the... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. But the right answer. That means at the end of round two, the Beaks have nine points, the detectives have ten. <laughs> Time now for the wall game. Sorry, Beaks, wrong school. But you do get to go first. Would you like lion or water? Lion, please. Lion. You have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Uh, is a baseball player. Channel a got out of change. Long on, long on is a cricket fielder, field. goes a fielder, slips a fielder, and points a fielder. And so is cover. Not gutter, not gutter. Slip gully, long is on a point. A channel, a gully. Gutter's a turn in, aren't we? Um. Okay. Um. Creek, creek culvert. Creek culvert, uh, gully ditch, gully ditch, and trench, and also channel. Maybe so a slip is a slip is uh, a uh, item of clothing. Um, Can I keep trying the? the, the fine. Um, okay, so um, Butch Cassidy, Pat Garrett. Who are they? The they cowboys. Are. Fine. Um, uh, long on gully. Slip and cover are all, are all, and point are all fielding points. Okay, fine. So, um. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to This is rather point, difficult. Gully fine. And, so, uh, so we catch that at cricket position as well. Is it? I think it is. Fine. So, uh, Creek is a. Uh, fine. Oh, wonderful. So, uh, Creek's a detective, Creek is a river, uh, Ditch is a, a river area. We've got about half the time. Um. 
banishes to um, five. Okay, five, five, so. Uh, three lines, lines one minute. minute. Slipper, P-E-R um, at the end, okay. Pattern. Lips in there, butters in there, ban is in there, and cat is in there. Okay, so, uh, postman pack. Um, can we, can um, we try that as a, as a one which is... But, lip, but then there's no link to those words. Well, okay, there is, but they all contain this uh, another hidden word. Of? They've all got a short three-letter word in them. Okay. Um, so... We, um, is there a word one? Put Cassidy, put Cassidy, Pat, Pat Garrett. Uh, Jonathan Creek. Butcher. Ten Butcher. seconds. We, let's just go with something. Butch. Slip. Okay. okay. That's uh, it. Your lives are up, but you found two groups on that horrible wall. Yeah. Can you tell me the connections? Cover, gully, point, long on. Uh, the fielding positions in cricket. That's exactly what they are. And the green group, ditch, gutter, culvert, channel. They're all things that water drain through. They're conduits for water. And what about the groups you didn't find? Let's resolve the wall. There you go. Catcher, slip, pat, boy. Yeah, I don't. Things that are best. No. Now, you mentioned Butch Cassidy earlier. Yeah. It's cow, like cowboy. Cowboy, oh. cow pat, cow slip, cow catcher <laughs> oh, is something to do with a train. Cow catcher. Oh, yeah, it's yes. in front of the car. Cow it, yeah. at the beginning of all of them. And the last turquoise group, trench, butch, creek, banish. Um, you put the letters ER at the end of them to make... I think creaker is not quite yeah, anything. I'm not sure about that. Much. This is what it is. You can change the first letter to make a language. French, Dutch, Dutch Greek, Greek, Danish. Danish. Wow. Unlucky. But you did find two groups and give me the connections. That's a total four. of four. Okay. Let's bring in their opponents now, give them the other connecting wall, the water wall, see how they get on. You have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting... Now. OK, should we start going for some of them? OK, what is it? What if we put it? OK, that's uh, in heraldry. Is there anything else in yes. heraldry? Anemone is a there's a plant and a. Uh, is that uh, heraldry? Well, are the plants here? Why would the plants be? What and the plants? girls' names as well, obviously all over the place. Yeah. I think we need to work out what's. Sea and anemone. Sea cucumber. Sea gooseberry. Sea violet. Sea lily. Okay. Three lives now. Benson is still pale fire. We think those are both. Um, Violently. No. Cool. Cool. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 Downton Abbey. I don't watch yes. it, but it's Cora, cool. Edith, Mary, and so what uh, the other ones Violet, I think. What would these other ones be? They're books by um by Nabokov, aren't they? Lolita. Lolita. Cora, so Edith, if Mary. So we think that might be Violet, and those will all be Nabokov. Do we think? Yeah. Really? Let's see if it's right first. It's not. So what else could be? That must be a novel. If it's a if they are novels, that must be a novel. Yeah, that is a novel. Lolita's not. There's no Lolita in Downton, so. No. Okay, so we've tried. So Isabel in Downton. I'm just trying. Is there a Cora in Downton? Yes. Okay. There's a Mary Edith and Cora. These tri. We did. Um, right before, so really Isabel. Yeah. Okay. There's no Lolita in Downton, is there? So it's got to be one of these. Could be, couldn't it? Or it could be Mary, could be. Should we go for one of these? We've tried to be. No. We haven't tried. Should we go for this? Yeah. I don't really get any further. That's it. That is your three lives. But you found two groups, and can you tell me the connection in the first one starting lilac? They're all shades of purple. All shades of purple. And the green group, lily, cucumber, anemone, gooseberry. If you put C in front of them, you get a different sort of. Um, organism. You can put C in front of all of them. And you can still get points for the connection, so let's resolve the wall. There you go. Mary, Bend Sinister, Pale Fire, Lolita. We think these must be Nabokov works. They are novels by Vladimir Nabokov. And the last group, Violet, Edith, Cora, Isabel. These are Downton Abbey characters. They are the characters from Downton Abbey, and Mary was the red Mary herring. Was the red herring. 
So two points for the groups and four for the connections. That's a total of six. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The Beaks have 13 points. The Detectives have 16 points. So it's quite close and the outcome will be decided in the Missing Vowels round. Fingers on buzzers teams. The first group of disguise clues are all things you might do if you're angry. Beaks. Rant and rave. Correct. Detectives. Scream blue murder. Correct. Beaks. Foam at the mouth. Correct. Detectives. Go through the roof. Correct. Next category, long-form names of countries. Detectives. Kingdom of Denmark. Yes, it is. Beaks. Commonwealth of Australia. Correct. Well, this is horrible. It's plurinational state of Bolivia. Next clue. And this one is Federation of St Christopher and Nevis. Next category, things people say when shaking hands. Beaks. How do you do? Correct. Beaks. Pleased to meet you. Lovely. Beaks. Well played. Yes, indeed. Beaks. Congratulations. Very good. Next category, old terms for doctors. Detectives. Quack. Correct. No time to tell me that the answer to that is leaked because the bell has gone for the end of the quiz. And I can tell you that the Beaks have 20 points, the detectives have 20 points. It's a tie break. We haven't had one of those in this series so far. How tense. Teams, I will remind you that the rules of a tie-break are there will be one decisive clue. It is captains only. The other team members will not contribute. Captains, you buzz in when you think you know the answer. If you're right, you automatically win the quiz. If you're wrong, you automatically forfeit the quiz. So, fingers on buzzers, captains. Good luck. The tie-breaker clue is coming in now. Detectives? Dumbed if you do, dumbed if you don't. Is the right answer. <laughs> Very well done. Oh, my goodness, what a close one. You are through to the next round. Beaks, I'm ah. so sorry. What an incredibly likeable team. One of my absolute favourites from the series. I'm really sorry you're going. And it couldn't have been closer. <laughs> I think you knew the answer there. Uh, yeah, I was... Yeah, same a time. fraction of a second too late, but you've done brilliantly. You've done almost equally brilliantly. Very well done. <laughs> That's right, there are no losers here, apart from those guys. <laughs> Goodbye.